Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and if you are new here, hi, welcome. Um, I'm a part-time reseller. I resell on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, whatnot, here on YouTube, um, lots of places. <laughs> However, sales have been super slow, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, but today we have a Shop Goodwill. I think this was like five, 5.2 something pounds of jewelry. And um, I bought it because I saw this really cool inlaying, which reminds me of Lee Sands. So I'm thinking that's Lee Sands. And I saw some turquoise and, you know, I just saw some fun stuff. So I figured, let's get it. It wasn't too, too expensive. Um, and let's get into it. I have not opened it or tampered it with it. Um, but I am excited. To see what we got. Okay, I think that does that's a little bit better. Also, guys, if you see this amazing blue um moonstone, I don't know why I said say blue stone. This amazing moonstone ring. I bought this in a whatnot live auction. I paid way up for it. Um, it is signed 925 ISJ, which I'm not sure what that means. Um, but um, I got this in Whatnot Live Auction for myself. Um, it's a size 9, but it, it fits me a little too loosely. Like, I can't wear it. Usually I wear rings on this finger. It's, like, a little too loose. Um, so I'm thinking maybe it's just a, just a hair over 9. Because I wear size 9 on these fingers and no issues. So I think this is, like, a hair over a 9. Um, I paid out for this. So if anyone is interested, I would just do 35 on it. Again, size 9, and it is sterling silver and moonstone. So, size 9 if anyone is interested. If anyone is interested in anything from this video, all you have to do is send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. Um, all you have to do is send me a screenshot or a timestamp of the items that you would like to you would like to buy. Um, also, if you click on my description or on my title, a description should pop up and um there should be a link that says my jot form. And if you click on that jot form link, if you would fill out all that information for me, that gives me all your information. So if you do purchase from me, I have it. All right, so let's get started. We have a unbranded silver tone. It's in pretty good condition. There is some scratches obviously on the silver tone, but I don't see any copper or brass coming through. So let's just do $2 on the silver tone green clamper. Next, we have this like woven, very cool textural bangle bracelet. It has like this really cool um, material on here, like a burlap. Has like an abalone um, flower on both ends. I want to say that's a faux pearl. We're looking at a two and a half inch opening. So let's just do um, $4 on this one. I think this one's really cool. Very boho. $4 on that one. Okay, next we have a wooden bangle. This one does have some wear. So let's just do a dollar on it. It's about two, just over two and a half. Um, yeah, let's just do a dollar on it. This is wood. So that's cool. Next we have another wooden bangle. This one also has some wear just over two and a half. Let's just do a dollar on this one as well. And we have one more bracelet. Um, this one will just go into craft. There's some wear on that. So that's craft. Okay. I think I got rid of all the bangles. <laughs> Ooh, I like this turquoise ring. Right. Pulling out some jewelry. Ooh, this looks like sterling. This is a really cool ring, actually. I've never seen one like this before. This is a size eight and a half. Um, and this spins, I think. Yeah, it spins like a. That's really cool. It's very like three D. Huh. We will test that. I think that might be sterling. Cool. Okay. Um, let's move some of that to the side. We have a hoop earring earrings to the side. We have a faux turquoise very worn ring. This has a lot of wear. Um, it is a size nine and a half. 
if anyone wants to just be a dollar, but beware, there is quite a bit of wear. That's really cool. Okay. We have a necklace that is Mart VJ, which I believe is Vicky Johnson. I believe it's Vicky Johnson. Um, I think. <laughs> These for like a mixture of real and faux, glass, acrylic, pottery even, like ceramic. Um, I'm not really, I can't remember if Vicki Johnson jewelry did really good or not. Um, it's about 15 inches plus an extender. Let's just do $5 on it. That one's nice. There is some wear on the clasp and on the hang chain, which it's probably silver plated and it may clean up. But let's just do five dollars on the Vicky Johnson. That one's really nice. I think that's what it is. Um, next we have three white stretch bracelets. Um, let's just do a dollar on all three. Okay. Looks like we have some turquoise blue ones too. Here's one. Here's two. That one's tangled. Ooh. <gasps> I think I know what this is. I've never seen a person. If it is, it's broken. Um, I think this is something really good, guys. I think this is um, JBK. This is like one of her iconic designs, but there should be a bead in between, I think. All right, well, we'll put this aside. Um, and we'll get to it. Let me get to it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I don't remember where this came from. I really don't. Um, I just, whenever I see a good deal on a lot, I'll bid on it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I bid on a lot of lots, but I don't win a whole lot of lots because I always get outbid. Also, my um, have not been able to get any thread up boxes in a while. Now, I am pre-filming this video, so... This is about 17 and um 17 inches. So let's just do um three dollars on it. It's a toggle clasp. I am pre-filming this to go up, so as of right now, I have not gotten any any DIY boxes or any kind of boxes at the moment. But I have been buying some shop goodwill lots if I can see a good deal on them. This is marked V C L M. All right, so this is marked VCLM. It is about 18, 19 inches. Um, it does have some wear on the chain, on the lobster claw, and a little bit on the chain. Um, this is all faux jade, so it's all acrylic, but it's made to look like jade. Um, let's just do four dollars on it, and if it doesn't sell, I'll give that to my my cousin because she loves. Maybe it looks like jade or green. Um, oh, these are those necklaces or bracelets that you can wear. These are all like little metal beads. And it's like very stiff and you can mold it to whatever you want. Let's just do a dollar on it. Um, next we have a ring that is not marked. It's a pretty small size. So it goes like that. Let's see. The big one is a seven and the small one is a three. So it's probably me to go like on the tip of your finger like that. Really cool. Um, let's just do two dollars on it. Okay, this is another little blingy. I think all the stones are there. It's like an antique copper finish. It's on a pink ribbon and cord. Um, you know, it's an antique copper. Oh, this is another um, Vicki Johnson. Vicki Johnson. This is stunning. Um, let's do $5 on it. Super pretty. Love that. Okay. 
this is like a little I think this is like a, a men's or maybe unisex it is marked with a brand I don't know that brand um this is a wrap bracelet just wrap it up like so and you can use this it's like I think it's paracord or something like that um I will look up this brand just to make sure it's not some kind of like hiking brand that's super expensive because a lot of outdoor brands are very expensive um so I don't want to misprice that okay let's see okay I think we have the match to that hoop but it's missing its speed so it's craft and then this is craft as well okay this is still super clean gold okay this is a really pretty chain um gold tone snake chain it goes with this super dainty little pendant. This gives me major Gucci vibes. Like it reminds me of bamboo. Um, get a measurement on it. It is 23 inches. Almost 24. So that's really pretty. Okay. Price will be on the screen. Okay. Um, so far nothing crazy. Ooh, this looks pretty. Well, you want to guess? Vicky Johnson. Yep, VJ. VJ. Um, oh, this is stunning. So this is an abalone shell with faux pearls and rhinestones. This one is no rhinestone. This one has a rhinestone. So really cool pendant. Let's do $5 on it. It's an antique matte silver tone. It is 19 inches plus the extender. So $5 on the Vicky Johnson. I'm hoping that's the right brand or oops okay um these are dyed wood that's like a really pretty teal green color with wooden beads and dyed mother of pearl there's a few scratches but honestly if you just turn it around like so you would never see them see so oh but it's shattered right here so if anyone wants this it'd just be a dollar again you just turn it around you would never see it but it is cracked right here. So if anyone likes that, it would just be a dollar. It's still wearable, but that's unfortunate. It's a dollar. Okay. Um, I want to look at this necklace. This could be like a reproduction, like a, a lookalike, which is what JBK is. It's reproductions of what she wore. Um, this is, has a lot of wear. So this is one of good craft. Um, oh my gosh, it is marked. <gasps> Guys, it is JBK. I thought so. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is awesome. So, okay. So some of these are missing links. So do you see how this has a link right here? Oh, you know what? I think this necklace is made to be worn multiple ways. So maybe the ones that don't have links are the ones that link to the other necklace. You see, it's these two that don't have links. These two have links, but these ones don't. So I'm wondering if this is because it's part of the transformable part. Because I believe this can be worn two ways. Long or short. And they, like, you have to hook them somehow. So maybe they're intentionally not supposed to have the, the two things right there. But it's a really, seems like in good condition. Um, There's a, maybe a couple little spots. Now it is, obviously, you can see very... um. Mis misformed probably from being in the jewelry box so i'll have to hang it and just with some weight and just see if that will un like stretch out but they have these gorgeous gold is that a leopard jaguar we're missing one eye i'm so sorry about that guys for some reason someone keeps calling my landline okay um these are green rhinestone um eyeballs um but it is missing one on this animal it's a tiger leopard i'm not sure um this one has all of its eyes this one has all of its eyes this one needs to be cleaned there's a little bit of white stuff on there and, um again it needs to be stretched and i need to figure out why it's missing some of its links but yeah um i mean if i can figure out 
if I can fix this up, this should pay for the whole lot. This is probably like a hundred dollar necklace. Um, so I'm thrilled with that. Um, you know, it's missing a rhinestone, so that might hurt the value a little bit, but we'll see. Um, if anyone said as is, I will have a price on the screen, but if anyone wants it as is, that's the price that will be on the screen. Okay. Next, we have a really cool dyed wood um, necklace. Let's just do a dollar on it. It's pretty cool. Okay, we have a bone or wood? Wood. Um, we'll just do a dollar craft. It's oh, it's outstretched. So that's just going to craft. Okay. Uh, oh, we have a pink. One of these stretchies the side with the turquoise okay we have another vicky johnson vj um this one is a dyed yellow mother pearl shell it does have some tarnish it's probably silver plated and this is probably a leather um this one does have some wear so let's just do three dollars on this one and again, if this is silver plated, this will clean up really nice. But three dollars. Okay. Um, another stretchy. Put that with the others. We have, we have another Vicky Johnson. Oh my lord, another VJ. Um, this one does have wear, so this will just go ahead and craft for a dollar. But that one is craft a dollar. Okay. And this is super tangled. Um, just put all that to the side. And we have a little earring. One possible silver piece. I'm excited about this turquoise. Ooh, this looks like KJL. That's pretty. Um, I see some rings. Some rings. So nice. Okay. Ooh, look how gorgeous this ring is. Stunning. Okay. Oh, let's just dump it up. Okay, everything is dumped. Okay, craft back in. Here. Okay, so there's that. Well, a couple pieces around the top. So there was a bunch of earrings at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this. Ooh, this is a stunning, definitely vintage. It does have some wear on the band. Oh my, this is Mark KJL. This is Mark KJL. Wow, I've never seen this ring before. Um, wow. It's really dirty. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it is really dirty. So this needs a really good cleaning. I'm assuming this is glass and CZ. That is stunning. Wow, I would have never thought this was KJL. Um, this is a size seven wow okay um that's gorgeous that's gorgeous this needs to be cleaned um if anyone wants it as is the price will be on the screen gorgeous okay this looks vintage love vintage huh the brand's love vintage stunning Oh, it's missing stones. Um, yeah. Oh, we do the match. Oh, no. So what I will probably do, since this one is missing three. Oh, it's missing a stone there, too. Oh, man. These are stunning. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, I will probably hold on to these and craft with them, maybe. Or figure out a way maybe I can repair them. Because they are stunning. They give me major Heidi Doss vibes. If I didn't see that they were signed, I would have just thought they were Heidi Doss. That's unfortunate. Those are stunning. Okay. Um, jingle Bell. We have a rose gold. We have some rings. These are just fashion. Those are just called craft. Um, I don't think this is silver. Nope. Okay. I want to see this. I think this is probably the reason why I bought the lot. I thought, thought this was just so cool. And I'm like 99% sure this is Lee Sands. So this is a stunning 
all mother of pearl inlaid in acrylic. I would assume the black is acrylic. Um, lion head. And we have mother of pearl and quartz, lace agate, lace agate, rose quartz. These are probably onyx if I had to guess. Um, so these are all natural stones, not plastic. So I'm pretty sure this is Lee Sands. It looks at least like a Lee Sands piece. So I will have a price um, on the screen for that. That's really cool. Oh, let me get a length on it. Um, 18 inches, you know, you probably get an extra inch or so from, you know, because it doesn't like close. So this is probably like a 20 inch probably. So really nice piece. This is my favorite piece so far. Really nice. Okay. KJL, Lee Sands, and the Silver Ring. Or the, um, yeah, hopefully silver. This is Mart NY, so it's New York and Company. This is like a gunmetal necklace. Um, let's just do a dollar on it. Probably needs a nice little cleaning, but besides that, it's in overall pretty good condition. There's some scratches. So that'll just be a dollar if anyone likes New York and Company. Okay, let's see. Who is this? Another Vicky Johnson? This one's stunning. All of the rhinestones are there. That is a gorgeous green. It matches the pink one, I think. Yeah. Look how pretty those are together. They're stunning. Um, I think I said five on that one, so we'll do five on this one as well. And it is marked with the V J. I'm hoping that is Vicky Johnson. It's about 16 inches. So absolutely stunning. Five dollars on that one. And all the stones are there. Again, they, they give me Heidi Doss vibes. They really do. Um, this is marked. This is going in craft. It was express, but that is a that is craft. Okay. Um this is an unmarked silver tone oval link necklace. And this is about 31, 32 inches. And let's do a dollar on that. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a plain silver, you know, bangle or necklace. We have another ring. Oh no, is this a jump ring? I don't know. I think that's a jump ring. Um, we have a pink. I don't think that's baked light. It's probably just acrylic earring. Um another vj piece if i'm wrong with that if that's not vicky johnson please let me know this is craft it has some major wear it's a cat's eye um that'll just be a dollar well, what's that um if that's not vicky johnson i'm like saying the wrong thing this whole time please let me know in the chat <laughs> in the comments um this is stunning this is an unmarked piece probably artisan made if i had to guess so it's like this antique matte, like, bronze. Um, it has these amber glass beads. This one is chipped, unfortunately. This one beads chipped. Um, with this really fun, like, waterfall dangle. Fringe. Like I said, this one bead is chipped. Right there. Let's just do um, $2 on it. This is really pretty beads really pretty on that one i love that two dollars okay this is oh this is so pretty this is a breast cancer awareness um bracelet now i see we're missing a couple um beads let's just do a dollar on it but that is so pretty and glittery these are all ab rhinestones let's do a dollar okay um this is another vj so another vicky johnson hopefully um, at least the one I have that's marked VJ is Vicky Johnson. I've gotten Vicky Johnson in the past. This is 18, 19 inches. It's blue glass seed beads with a clear glass pendant. Um, again, the clasp is pretty worn. So let's just do, um, $3 on this one. $3 on that. Oh. <gasps> 
this. This looks like real turquoise. I'm excited about that. Um, something stuck to this. Oh, stuck to this. It's magnetic. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, hold on, guys. We have a little tangle. Okay. Okay. Um, it's not marked. I'm thinking this is Kirk's Folly, but it's not marked. Okay, wait a minute. They're... Okay, I don't think they go together. I think the magnet may just stack to that. There we go. So this is an unmarked gold tone, like, link necklace. It's really nice. Let's get a link on it. It gives me major, like, Napier, Monet. It is 18 inches. Definitely vintage, I would say. Let's do $5 on this. It's a really nice gold tone link. And this, I don't think these go with it. This has to be... <gasps> I was right! Guys, this is Kirk's Folly! Kirk's Folly! Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. So this is a converter. Um, So let me show you how that works there we go so this comes off and you can wear it as a brooch or you can put this on like that close it and you can wear it on like this gold necklace and there you go you have a pendant or you can use it as a magnet like um you know use it for jewelry <gasps> oh i could do that um or you can put it on your refrigerator like it's just really useful little tool so it's awesome that they put that on there but um, these are like little bubbles and the two fairies. Like That is absolutely stunning. And I don't see any, oh, these are all AB rhinestones. Um, I don't see any missing stones. And there's the mark right there, Kirk's Folly. Oh, I love this piece. This is my favorite piece so far. I think this beats out the Lee Sands tiger or um lion. Um, I will have a price on this, but I might keep it if it doesn't sell. I will have a price. I will have a price. It's an excellent condition. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Um, and then we already saw the gold. Okay, and then we have these, which I was thinking would be silver. They look like silver, but they are really magnetic. So, um, I'll have to Google Lens those and see if there's some kind of... They kind of give me Whiting and Davis. Right? Don't they kind of look like Whiting and Davis? I'm pretty sure all their pieces are marked. Really nice silver tone clip-ons. I like those. Okay. Um, this is a stretch bracelet. It's in really good condition. We have gold, I think, and silver. Or just silver. Um, let's just do a dollar on it. We have this stretch bracelet. This will just be a dollar. This is really cool. This is like carved bone. Someone left me an email last week or two weeks ago. I'm not really sure how this video is going to go up in the timeline. Um, that that carved elephant necklace looked like ivory, but I think it was bone. Um, this kind of looks just like that. So I'm assuming this is bone, but maybe ivory. I don't know. It's really cool. Um, and this is like a faux coral, I would assume. And I don't see any maker's marks. So let's get a link on that. That's about 14 inches plus a three inch extender. And I will have a price on the screen, hopefully for that piece. That's really cool. I like that. Um, okay. I haven't, I've been dying to see what this is. This looks like sterling. <gasps> Guys, this might be my favorite piece. That's Carolyn Pollock. And this is regular Carolyn Pollock, not her, like, you know, diffusion lines and whatever. This is Carolyn Pollock. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's smart. It's marked 925 and the CR or Crescent Moon R right there on the clasp. Super tiny. Wow. So this is all sterling, I would assume. Let's see. 925, of course. Oh my goodness. This matches that um 
bracelet I got in my DIY box a few videos ago. Oh man, I already sold that bracelet. If I would have known I was having this, I would have this necklace, I would have kept the bracelet and kept it with the necklace. Um, I'm keeping this. This will not be for sale. Um, this is 100% my style. Um, turquoise. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. I bet this is over a hundred dollar necklace. I guarantee it. This is amazing. I love this piece. This piece is amazing. Kirk's Folly, Carolyn Pollock, Lee Sands, KJL. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm thrilled. I'm literally thrilled. Okay, um, this is craft. Actually, it's in pretty good condition. Put in craft. Um, I'm just, I'm thrilled with this box. Oh my gosh. Um, oh man, this is missing a stone. Oh, it was Mark too. Um, J.R. China. I don't know J.R. China. I'll have to... Joan Rivers? Yeah, this was Joan Rivers. She did a lot of flexible cuffs. We have a stone. Not sure where it came off of. Okay. Alright. We have a... Another, I think, Vicky? Yep, another Vicky Johnson. This one is multi-strand um, cord with like this really cool, like distressed brass pendant, and the end caps are wood. That's so cool. Needs a little bit of a cleaning. Um, let's do five dollars. Five dollars on that, Vicky Johnson. Okay. Ooh, my phone is at 5%, guys. No. Okay, hold on. I plugged you in. So hopefully we're good. Okay. Um, This is stunning. I don't see any maker's marks. All the stones are there. Um, This will be a little tricky to get a measurement. <laughs> um, It's about two and a quarter. So probably it fit like a seven inch wrist or so. Let's see. Let's see. I'm about a seven and a quarter. Seven, seven and a quarter. Oh yeah, this fits me perfectly. Um, actually, I would say this could even go up to a seven and a quarter. Maybe seven and a half. Um, it's really pretty. So let's just do $3 on this one. Silver tone with those gorgeous blue rhinestones. That's a really nice one. No marks. Um, this is Mart. Lane Bryant. The taint tag does have some wear. And there is a little bit of wear on the chain. Then we have a matching something, maybe? No? Maybe it's a double layer? Okay, I know. It's one really long necklace. So let's get a measurement. It does have some wear on the links, so it's 36 inches, so let's just do a dollar. Okay, um, it's in gold. <gasps> these, I think these are also KJL. <gasps> Y'all, they are. These are KJL. Oh my gosh, I love these earrings, and they're marked KJL there too, so KJL and KJL. I love these earrings, oh my gosh. They're like little gold presents, little gold bows. Oh, these would be so perfect for Christmas. Oh, I wish I would have opened this before Christmas. Oh my gosh. These are amazing. Look how 3D they are. Look how awesome those are. Ooh, it still has the pads too. Which I do. Oh, no, one of them does. One of them doesn't. Which I always do recommend taking them off and replacing them. And they're not expensive. They're actually pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, I love the price on the screen. Love those. Okay, all the little treasures are at the bottom. Okay, let's see. Oh, we have the match to these little rose gold stars. Let's just do $2. Two dollars, so like a textured rose gold. Okay. And then we have this multi-strand. These look like natural stones. Maybe it's all glass? I don't know. It's all of these strands. And it's quite long. Um, it's about 32 inches-ish, give or take. 
the there's quite a bit of wear on the lobster claw um i'm gonna hold on to this until i get my presidium and hopefully we'll be able to figure out what stone if that's a stone or not does this match the does this match those kjl earrings it is marked it's joan rivers joan rivers and I thought it was marked on the back, too, but it looks like it just kind of wore off. It's in excellent condition. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we have um, Joan Rivers. Look how pretty that is. So it's a collar, collar, torque chain, or whatever you want to call it, necklace. And then there's a tiny bit of wear right here from, like, where the pendant probably rubs. But you would never see it because obviously the pendant's there. But this really pretty like bow, how cute would that be with the KJL earrings? Like look how cute that would be. Um, I will have a price on the on the um Joan Rivers. Wow, I love that. I mean guys, we got some really good pieces. Okay, this is really tangled. Um, we'll test the pendant just to make sure it's not silver. Watch these be KJL too. <laughs> these give me more Monet vibes. Um, actually, they're not marked anything at all. They're really pretty, like a red coral, like a dark coral. You need a little bit of a cleaning. I think that did most of it right there. Um, let's just do four dollars on the clip-ons. They need to. I will. I will wipe them down. Hopefully that everything comes off. Well, let's do four dollars on those. They're red cabochons. No marks, but watch them. Be Ooh, is this Cartier? Would that be amazing? Or Tiffany? Um, no marks. No marks. I've always wanted one of these rings, but it's not silver, so I can't wear it. Um. Oh, it's about a size eight. Let's see. It says seven, but that definitely fit my size eight finger. So maybe because how they intertwine. Yeah, that's way too big for my size seven finger. So I would say this is like a seven and a half to an eight. That's so fun. Let's do three dollars on this one. That's so fun. Little interlocking rings. Okay, let's see. We have a ring. No markings. Another ring, no markings, and another ring, no markings. Okay, we have a necklace. Oh, this is stunning. Look at this. Wowza. This is a... This is a Kirk's... I've never seen a Kirk's Folly ring before. Look at that. It is marked Kirk's Folly. I mean, I can see, you know, their signature with the EB rhinestone, but wow. Now there is a lot of wear. So we have some copper showing through on the little pointed prongs. These side stones are a little cloudy, obviously, because look at all the gunk in there. The band, you know, has some wear as well. So, you know, it's not in perfect condition, but... It's probably about a seven, seven and a half. Let's see. Seven and a quarter. Wow, that, I mean, that's pretty. This would be worth if someone out there wants this to, um, to fix up. That's stunning. Unfortunately, this has a lot of wear. Darn. That is absolutely stunning. Kirk's Folly. Two Kirk's Folly pieces. Wow, two KJL pieces. I'm, I'm stacked with this lot. Okay. Um, we have a little dyed mother of pearl flowers. Let's just do a dollar. Um, we have these like faux jade. I think these match that faux jade necklace. So I'll just put them with it. So whatever I said for the necklace, you get the earrings too. Um, this is a fall ball team. Is this the Cowboys? I don't know. I don't follow sports. <laughs> um, it's going to go in craft. Unless Jennifer wants it. Um, let's see. 
This, I think, matches that um, Vicki Johnson piece, but we're missing the other earring. Let's craft. Oh, we do have the match to these pink earrings. Um, we're going to... I don't think Bakelite comes in hot pink. I'll have to look into it, but that's really cool. Little button earrings. Okay, we have another Vicki Johnson. All of the stones are there, I think. Another like antique press, um, green cord. There's the VJ. Um, let's do five dollars on this one as well. That's really pretty. We have three of them now. Three flowers. Okay. So I'm stretchy. Okay, these are natural stones, I think. Um, stretchy, so you can wear this, you know, as a wrap bracelet. Where it has a necklace. Um, let's just do two dollars on it. It's pretty. We have a hematite cross necklace. So it's a screw barrel clasp. These are all um, hematite or magnesite. Um, has a little cross and two little hearts. This would be a nice little men's necklace or women's. It's a 16 inch, maybe hair over. Let's do. Um, Five dollars for the hematite. It's nice. Okay, this gives me cold water creek vibes. So it's an antique copper. It's intentional. Um, has faux pearls, green faceted beads, and then it goes into like this little tassel. Um, this one's another long one, and it's about twenty eight, twenty nine inches, something like that. Um, and then plus an additional seven and a half. So quite long. Let's just do three dollars on this one. Okay. Um, this is this one's craft as well. Okay, our last little. Ooh, is this a? Oh, it's some sand jingle bell. So let's craft. Um, another stretchy, another stretchy. Okay, we have this tangle. These are going to craft. I can't tell if that's intentional wear or if that is in or um just wear. Let's craft. Um, most of the time it's pretty easy to tell if something's like intentionally distressed or not. That one, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. I think I've had this necklace before. Is this New York? Pretty sure I've had this and sold it already. So it's silver tone with a green pendant. It's kind of like in a torque style, but it's hinged. Articulated. And it is, it is New York and why. So I've actually had this and sold it. Um... Let's just do four dollars on it. New York and Company. It's nice. Um, this is craft. This is craft. It's verdigree. We have the matching heart necklace um, pendant or um, earring. This is so so possibly. I'm not sure. You know, I um, haven't really seen see anything. That's amazing in here. So we have that. Oh, we have a little cuff link, but we only have one. It's a shame. That's really cool. Office of Inspector General, but we only have one of them. Okay, then we have all of these stretches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are perfect being um, stretchies to wear for Easter. Maybe for your nieces or granddaughters or daughters. Um, let us what was it, eight. Let's just do two dollars for all of them. So we have two dollars for all of those. All right, and then we have this tingle, which there's nothing in here. So, all right, guys. So that was my box. I'm actually really happy with it. Um, let's test the two silver pieces that we had. Three. Well, two. 
I think are silver. No, no, I'm like not sure. This is the Carolyn Pollock. This should 100% be silver. If the star ends up being silver, then I'll test the chain. Okay, let's see. Um. Oh wow, the star is sterling. Okay, so the star is sterling. So let's test the chain. Um, the chain is not. Okay, so the Carolyn Pollock is silver. The ring and the ball is silver. And then the star pendant is silver. So we got a nice little bit of silver. We got more silver than that one DIY box that I just opened. Um, well, I opened, I'm not sure. Again, I don't know when these videos are going to go up. But yay! Okay, so we have sterling. Awesome. So, Sterling Star, Sterling Ring, obviously Carolyn Pollock Love. Um, we have the Joan Rivers. We have the um, KJL clip ons. KJL clip ons. We have the KJL Ring, which needs, you know, some wear or it needs some help. We have the gorgeous Kirk's Folly brooch. And then we have the Kirk's Folly Ring that, again, has wear. We got the Lee Sands necklace. And I want to say these are like my best pieces. We got a lot of J... Um, where's the JBK? And then of course the JBK, which... Ugh, I'm so sad about it missing an eye. That would have been a really good one. Um, So yeah, I'm really thrilled with this box. I'm, I'm more than thrilled with this box. If there was anything in this video that you are interested in, all you have to get, do, again, is send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. Send me an email with a screenshot or a timestamp of the items that you want. And please fill out my jot form link, which is in my description. And again, if you anyone wants my um, 925 silver moonstone size 9 ring, it's $35 or I will just keep it. Um, so yeah, that is my box. Thank you guys for watching. Please like the video. Please leave a comment and please make sure you are subscribed with all bell notification turned on. All right, guys, I will see you in the next. Bye.